you been wanting to create video lessons, but you don't actually want to be in it yourself, then today's video is for you because I'm going to show you different options for creating your video lessons without taking any video or taking any photos yourself. So hey there, this is Erica from Ever Educating, and this is our fourth tutorial in the Flixier tutorial series. Flixier, who's sponsoring this video, is a video editing software that's cloud-based, so you can use it on any of your computers. And so far, I showed you the basics and then some more advanced features of creating these videos, so I'll link the whole series below. But today, the focus is different ways you can create your videos using their stock photos, their stock videos, and just like an audio recording of your own voice. So we're going to dive in and I'll show you these options. All right. So you don't want to create videos with yourself in it. So what can you still use Flixier as far as editing videos goes? Well, often you can create Google Slides or PowerPoints and then do like voiceovers using those different tools. But it can be, you know, not as user friendly and kind of hit and miss, in my opinion, not as smooth as using editing software. And so in this case, there's different options for how you can approach this. So I'm going to go through a few here. I've created these like examples for you so you can see it quickly because obviously we've already gone over in early tutorials how to do all these things uh, when you're editing. But to begin with, what I have here is what's pretty cool is you can actually have my bottom track here is actually just a blank uh, slide from Google, Google Slides, right? Or you can do PowerPoint. And so the white with this line is the only thing that actually appears on this first slide. And so what you can do is basically build all the text and images and videos onto this blank background. And so obviously the background could be designed however you'd like, and you can change it up if you want to as well. But rather than having, you know, in Google Slides or PowerPoint, adding the text there, you can just add the text in here because then you can animate it really easily using the software. You can, you know, change the font color and the font size and type and all of that. You can add animated font. And so in this case, it makes it so you can do all of it in one place rather than having to do some of it on Google Slides and then some of it later in your video editing software. And so to begin with here, what I've added, right, is, you know, this one in particular is the title, right? What you might analyze in the text will be reading, right? So I'm imagining this as a literature course. And then up here, I have three different images, right, that comes from shapes. So in this case, you go to shapes, right, and you search for whatever shape you're looking for for the class you're teaching. And so I added three different book types here, different colors to really brighten up this first slide. And so you have this portion here. And so, you know, you have the voiceover that you'll create separately as well. And so you have what you might analyze and the text will be reading. And then in this case, now you have what I did here is there's two different ways of doing this. You can decide, you know what, I'm just going to create one text box that has all the words that I need, you know, on this slide. Or you can go ahead and instead do one appearing after another. Right. And so that is these three. So you can decide how much animation do you want? Do you want, OK, just have them all appear at once or we're going to actually start creating multiple tracks based out time wise. Right. To match the voiceover and do it that way instead. So I just to show you that again. One, two, three. Right. So in this case, it's a black blank background that you add text and images to. So that's one approach to take. Now, I use shapes for that, but then if you keep on going forward, and let's say now you have a new slide, and so the focus is gonna be on class. And then here, I found a stock photo, right? Because the stock library has thousands, if not millions, of stock photos that you can use in your presentation. So I've added this one, so let's say your class is about, you know, you're gonna talk about poverty, right? And so you have this image of this homeless man or woman, and then now you're going to talk about, all right, factory workers, right? And so you're moving up in, you know, as far as socioeconomic status, right? And so you can use the stock images from Flixier as well. And again, you're just adding on to that blank background. Or if you want, you can go ahead and in Google Slides have the slide that has text on it, but then leave blank spaces that you'll know you'll be adding images from the stock library. So rather than having to go on Google or, you know, Pexels or Unsplash or all these different sites and downloading these stock photos individually and then uploading it onto Google, 
slides, you can just say, you know what, I'm going to download the slides onto Flixier and I'll just use their stock photos because they've already compiled all of these different options for me, right? Including GIFs or GIFs. So that's an option here as well, right? So the first layer is just an empty slide and you can do as many slides as you want. Okay. And then what you build on top of it is different text or different images, however many you want and whatever location that you want. Separate approach. Let's say, you know, you don't want to have the background whatsoever. You actually want the whole video to be images. So that's another option here. So again, let's say you're talking about poverty, you're talking about homelessness. You can just have as forever long you're talking about that topic. You just make that image that long. And so at this point, it'd be, you know, your voiceover. You're not on screen. You're just talking about these facts that you want to share with your students. And so while they're listening to you, they're seeing the images that relate to your topic. And again, if you want to, you can make this more visually engaging using more than one stock image on the screen at the same time. You can transition from one to another, right? You can have these three at one time, four, six, eight, right? However you want to organize these images. And again, these are just different tracks and you just click and you decide, you know, how you want to move it, how big do you want it to be, how you want it to be layered, right? So that's another way of doing it as well. So you can decide, do I just want one image so it's not too complex or do you want multiple images? And then again, you just have the voice over in the same way here, but there's no you know, text necessarily on these images. It's just the visual and then the voice over. Now, another option is using the stock videos. So let's say you're having a class that's about how to have a healthy morning routine. And your first thing you're talking about is the importance of exercise. So in this case, this is a stock image, uh, sorry, a stock video. And so once again, you can have there, you can be talking about exercise. You have the text box of exercise that you've added to it. And so you're talking about, all right, you know, one thing you want to do, maybe you're going to go for a run or you're going to go for a bike ride or you're going to go for, you know, do some weights. You can show different videos and images of those things. Maybe you're going to shift to, okay, it's not just doing exercise, but have an accountability partner will make it even better, right? And so you find different videos, different images that work well with whatever message you're getting across when doing your lesson, okay? And then since you have all these videos and images, then you can add the transition, right? The next thing you want to do is you want to have a good breakfast. Looking at the things here, you notice that it's a lot of bread, right? And maybe you don't want to do that. But there's eggs, so protein is important, right? Have some tea or some or some juice or some milk, okay? So you have here, all right, I'm going to go ahead and I'm not creating any videos. I'm not taking any pictures. I'm just using the stock photos available on Flixier. And that can make it much easier because then all you're doing is you have your recording, your auto recording, and then you add that into, you import it into Flixier, you have it as a track, and then all you're doing is going to build on top of it. All right, you know, in these 10 seconds, I'm talking about running. Let's find a video or an image with runners and have it, you know, have that 10 second time, right? I'm going to next talk about the importance of accountability. Here's the photo or the video that I want to use for that. Now I'm going to talk about eating breakfast. And so again, you just build track upon track. And if you're confused on how to do that, that is what I discussed in my last tutorial. I've linked all the tutorials in the description below. So these are different approaches here, right? You don't want to be on camera yourself. You just want to have a voiceover. So you can do it where you have the shapes from here. And there's tons of shapes here that you can use. You can also create them, right? If you're doing, you know, circles, squares, or triangles. But, you know, let's say you're doing, you teach a science. You can just look up science here and see what shapes pop up. Maybe you're teaching math. Obviously, numbers are going to be huge, but you can see here what kind of math shapes they have. Right? So that's one option. And then again, you can go ahead and decide how do you want to add in words? Do you just want to have them all appear at once on a slide or do you want to have them animated in? Right? Do you want to have one image on top of a slide or more or a video? Do you want to have the whole thing be an image or multiple images? Should you put text on there or not? Everything you're doing, you're building yourself. 
And then it's very simple here because you have it all available in one place. It's a one-stop shop. So you can decide, okay, I want the text here. I want it to last this portion or this portion, okay? Um, so you just decide how do you want it to look without having you in it whatsoever. Now, if you want to, you can click record here and record the audio, right? And so you just allow it to happen. And then you can say, all right, we're ready to be recorded. Or you can just use maybe your smartphone, right? So like voice memo, if you have an, an iPhone, you just record the audio, email it to yourself. Or, you know, if you have a Mac computer, you can just airplay it to um, the computer. So you can have it on Flixier there and then import it. Right. If you don't have that, if you have to just email it to yourself or put it in your Google Drive and then import it into this software by using the My Device or whatever it is that you've saved it to. And so once you have that, you go ahead and add it as a track. So if you imagine that this is just an audio recording, you just drag it right and put it wherever it is that you will need it to go. Now, if you did have a video where you were recording yourself and then you decided, you know what, I actually don't want to be on screen. I want to do this voiceover. Again, all you have to do here is click into the clip, the audio, and you can detach the audio and get rid of the video of, of you. Right. And so now you're just editing your audio here and that's all that's left. So you can see whatever it is that you have instead on the track. If you found this video helpful, do click like and let me know. If you have any questions, let me know below. The next tutorial will be about the green screen feature. So definitely a more advanced feature, but one that obviously can be really cool when creating your video lessons. If you don't want to miss out, go ahead and subscribe below.